bring up Andrade, a fight that you're commentating this weekend. He's another guy that's in the middleweight division. How does he factor in in all this, you think? And how does he match up with all these guys? Well, look, man, Andrade's an Olympian. He's an Olympian. He's been uh, overlooked. He's been uh, ducked for a long time. No one wants to fight him. The only fighters that fight Andrade are, are the guys that also don't want to fight. Uh, they don't want to fight Vanez, Mario Rosen, guys like that. Um, Andrade's going to be a beast for anybody, man. He's undefeated for a reason. He has respectable power. He's six foot one. He's a southpaw. He's everything you don't want to fight, face and fight. So uh, I think, you know, it would have been a great fight with BJ Saunders, but now that he's fighting this unknown from Namibia, I just think Andrade's favorite by a lot. This guy supposedly could punch. 17 and 0, 16 knockouts, so he always has a puncher's chance. Um, and, and it's one of these uh, uh, once in a lifetime opportunities. So the story is there for an upset. And uh, obviously you're, you're intrigued by that, but you would favor Andrade by a lot. Do you think uh, Andrade would have beaten Saunders? Man, see, that's why we wanted to watch that fight. I really like Saunders. I really like Saunders in that fight because of his movement, because of his defense. And I think Andrade fights really good when, when uh, you put pressure on him. I really like Saunders being an Andrade, but, yeah. but now uh, now I, I really don't know what to say. Yeah. So Andrade wins a title. There's going to be a, a push from him to fight the guys like we mentioned and stuff like that. I guess how does he stack up with those guys based on the skills you've seen from him? Who? Uh, Andrade against like the Canelos, the Golovkins, the Saunders. He matches up evenly with all of them. Yeah. I mean, uh, since he was an amateur, he's beat the best. He beat Keith Thurman twice mm -hmm. in the Olympic trials. He's faced, he's beaten everyone he's faced. So how can you doubt a guy that's unblemished, a guy that's never tasted defeat? You always gotta give him the, the, the benefit of the doubt, even if it's against a superstar, because they're only gonna rise to that occasion of, of, of a superstar. So not only that, but look at the difference in, in, in height, in, in reach. Uh, Andrade is six foot one, almost six foot two. I mean, he's a, he's a big guy. And you know, say Canelo and Golovkin, these guys are five foot nine, five foot 10 at best. So the height, the reach is going to be there, the experience, the amateur pedigree. You know, these are Olympians. They faced a lot of fighters, you know, hundreds and hundreds of amateur fights. So I favor Andrade against any, any boxer, any boxer at 160.